Okay, here we have the riser plates that have been marked with the black sharpie and scribed for the appropriate hole locations. And the, how I did my scribing was I just used my, my caliper and set it to the appropriate distance and made my scratch marks. If you're, if you're real careful and you don't press extremely hard, your caliper will do a very, very good job of scribing. And you have your measurements that can be quite accurate uh, because of it. Uh, granted, you, you, you'll, you'll lose just a little bit of accuracy because of the angle you have to hold the caliper. But it's, it, it will give you a good placement. Uh, the hole clearance uh, that will drill into the uh, plate will more than compensate for any inaccuracy with the holding the, uh, the caliper at an angle. Your automatic punch is going to be your friend here. First off, you move the, the tip of your, scrot, your punch across the scribe lines. The scribe line in the vertical and horizontal, or X, depending on how you happen to be looking at the plate, will actually hold that point and it'll, it'll locate it. A little push and you have your location. And again, the point on this on this punch is very, very small. And it actually it actually finds the the cross point of the scribe lines very well. You can you can feel it when you're in position. It actually it'll actually come to a stop. It's almost like it self centers. That's the advantage of using this <clears throat> this automatic punch, center punch, in that you don't have to sit there and try to maneuver the punch, hold it in position, and strike it with your hammer. Just this simple. Move the punch along the line until it actually just it'll just stop. It's just that quick, it's punched. Now, <clears throat> once we have our initial location for our, our holes, we can go in with our heavier center punch, strike it, and enlarge, uh, enlarge our, our location for the hole. And I will go ahead and do that now.
two riser plates marked, dimpled, ready to center drill and drill to uh, drill to size. Now, I can't stress enough the importance of making a little sketch. In particular, these eight holes on each of these riser plates. These eight holes need to match the location on your aluminum extrusion. And the, the end profile of this extrusion uh, should be available from your manufacturer, a detailed uh, sketch from your manufacturer showing you the, the XY coordinates so that you can accurately transfer hole locations from here to whatever it is you're mounting up to it. These four along the base of the uh, riser plate will be for my mounting to the bearing carriers. It'll be something similar to this. And lo and behold, I think, uh, I think we might have uh, something going on here. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and mark my carriers, um, get them scribed, get them punched, and we'll do all of the drilling and, uh, and tapping into the carrier blocks all at one time. And this is the preliminary mock-up of the gantry, the uh, risers and the carrier uh, bearing carriers are just basically sitting together um, up on the uh, <coughs> Y uh, Y rails. And this is a, a real quick uh, uh, close-up of the assembly. Again, this is just preliminary mock-up. Uh, the next operation will be to cut the Y linear rails to length, mount them up, mount the bearings, and make the thing slide back and forth. Until then, have a good day.